Good morning, welcome to Baker Creek. I am just enjoying the first tomato of the season. Uh, it's juicy and delicious because it's an heirloom. Um, so it was bred for taste and good texture instead of shelf life and pest resistance. Um, so it's awesome and I hope everybody is getting ready to eat their first tomato of the season. It's a great time of year. Um, but today I wanna talk about basil. So um, for you beginning basil gardeners, you might notice that you're getting flowers uh, growing up on your basil plants, something like this. Just make sure to keep up with it and, and pick those flowers back all the time. Those flowers are gonna make your basil plants more leggy and they won't grow as bushy or as full and they'll start to kind of taste funky to you. So um, it's a great excuse to put up as much pesto as humanly possible. Just keep pinching back that basil every day. Make sure you get out into the garden and pinch the basil back. It's also important when you pinch basil to pinch it back to um, to a leaf node. So if you're going to pinch basil, pinch it right back to where those those two little branches meet and pinch it back just like that. So you can pinch it again just like there. Um, this is important to promote better growth and a nice healthy bushy plant. Um, one suggestion that I have for making pesto, I will make a large batch of pesto and then I freeze it in my ice cube trays, pop the pesto out of the ice cube trays once it's frozen and then put it back in a Ziploc bag in the freezer and you'll have little single serving pesto cubes ready to go all throughout the winter. And that's my go-to basil trick for pesto. All right, rareseeds.com.